What's up guys, Epoxy here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Destiny 2 video. My plan for today's video is to actually inform you guys on a weapon that Banshee44 is selling right now. It is actually my favorite weapon to use in the game. If you look here, Banshee is selling the Fire Fright, and it's actually a pretty good roll. You see it has Mulligan, Fragile Focus, High Caliber Rounds or Ricochet Rounds, Looted Barrel, and Small Bore also a stability masterwork. If you've never seen the firefight before, it's actually from Season of the Haunted, Season 17. And it was around the time where you're able to craft stuff such as the Awestringer, Drang, Beloved, and of course the Firefright. So if we take a look at my inventory, you can see that I have a crafted Firefright. It's level 132. I don't know if this is still like the god roll for it. It doesn't have the best perks, but the good thing about it is it feels really nice to shoot like i've never liked an auto rifle as much as this one and the high caliber rounds on it just make it absolutely insane and guess what the one you can buy from banshee has that it also has small bore which is very good it bumps the range up to 70 and of course fragile focus which also buffs range and we have mulligan which isn't the best perk but you know it's still okay like like i said the firefight doesn't have the best perk selections but the way the gun feels and having high caliber rounds on it with the range it just makes it a very nice auto rifle to use so i'm gonna hop into some games and actually show you guys how to use it uh i'm gonna buy the one from the store i don't want to use my own i'm gonna use it i'm gonna use the one from the store for you guys so i can show you how it works I'll put it on for you guys yeah this store resets every day so you have only today to get it it might come back later in the season but this specific role i wouldn't miss out on so make sure you get to banshee as soon as you see this video and grab this weapon while you can all right let's get into some games but yeah guys you don't understand how happy i am to see this firefight in the store because there's so many people on tiktok who would ask me what gun i'm using and i would tell them but you also couldn't get it anymore so i always felt bad Happen to tell them that there's no way to get it so now seeing that banshee has it is really good for you guys but today is the only day i know that i'll have this specific role so i would go now while you can uh, i'm gonna put i'm working right now to get this video up as soon as possible so hopefully it's out like an hour from now the hardest part is downloading it to youtube and everything so yeah i'm gonna try to get this video out as soon as possible and let everyone know to go get this weapon while they can so yeah i just queued up for some comp because i've been hating playing the 6v6 lately I just can use some comp. So yeah, I mentioned how this gun has either high caliber rounds or ricochet. Um, obviously you can choose whatever one you want, but I would definitely suggest picking high caliber rounds, just because it saves you in so many scenarios. I feel like, especially like when someone's like sniping, because you can peek them and get some shots off, and it really messes up their snipe. Especially if they're trying to get a headshot, it's so much harder for them to when their screen's constantly getting hit around. So I would just trust me on that. I've used gun for a long time now, and. I've really enjoyed it. It's been the most consistent gun I've ever used. That guy. Good kill teammate. All right. but yeah the reticle the fire fright has is just so nice like i love this it reminds me of like that gun that you start with at the beginning of the game uh i forgot it's called cast off or whatever it just reminds me of that but like a better version of it so it's nice to have good kill obviously it'd be a little better it's a little hard to shoot right now because the stability is a little low but if i was to master work it it'd be a lot better but i just don't have that many enhancement cores right now i've used so many lately Ah, oh, so close. Good kill. Grabbing heavy. Got him. We're coming back this game. These guys won the first round. We won the next two. No, but yeah, I love running the Fire Fright with... Like, since it's a primary, I usually run Beloved Secondary or any shoddy. But you can use whatever you want. I just personally, I usually run it with shoddy or sniper. That's my favorite. Because it's the fire fray honestly can get away with like a lot of medium range fights just because of how it shoots. So that's why also why I like it. Ooh, nice kill. But it's also nice if you want to play on a farther map. Like you can it can compete with pulse rifles. Obviously it doesn't shoot as far as some pulse rifles, 
but it can compete with anything. Like, I've honestly had good luck using, like, last season against the Immortal, and we all know the Immortal was stupid broken. Good kill. Nice. Yeah, we wiped that team. Nice little quick comp game. 14 and 8. That's all right. But I'm going to go into one more game where I do some, just some 6v6. I wanted to get a little bit more kills to show you guys how it, how it looks in more battles. I really didn't get to that much in that one. The map was more of like a shotgun pushy map. So we're going to go into the, some 6v6 so I can really give you guys a good look on how the gun actually is. And also, if you head to my TikTok, I use this gun a lot. Like most of my clips have this gun in it. So yeah, you can take a look at those if you feel like it. TikTok's always in my bio and link in the description too. But yeah, getting the stability masterwork fully upgraded would definitely make the gun a lot more like smoother to use at farther range and especially targeting adjuster. You can add targeting mods to your armor. You can make this gun really smooth and it's honestly so fun to use. I can't stress it enough. Like my one friend I play with, they always make fun of me for using it because I'm like the only person I ever see in Crucible running this weapon. And I'm like, bro, trust me use it and he had he had a crafted one also and he started using it and now he's like dude it's it's fa it's his favorite gun it's so slept on and i feel like it shouldn't be just because of how strong it is and how and how useful it can actually be it's actually the only weapon i'll ever peek a sniper when i'm using it because i'm not afraid of them sniping me because of the high caliber because usually snipers especially in like better lobbies are aiming for your head so if you have the high caliber rounds and how, how fast that the auto rifle shoots It'll make them miss headshots a lot of the time and you'll win the fight. Especially like if you have good aim and you're hitting them right in the head. But yeah, in the comments below, let me know what you guys are thinking of this new season. It's crazy to think that we're at season 21 already. I remember when this game didn't even have seasons or season one, like way back in the day. So it's good right to see the game is still thriving now. And the player base is still pretty popping. All right, let's get into this. Kills. Going up here, I saw. Like as soon as people start getting flinched, usually they just go around the corner because they don't want to deal with it. Ooh, what a head glitch. Oh damn it, Dad. I'm gonna back up a little bit and you get some range on these guys. I get this guy right here though. Now hold them. Don't be lost. One. Oh. That shit's so scary, it does so much damage right there. Even though our guy pushes right here. Cool. Headshots feel so nice with this gun. It's always my favorite thing about it. Once you get used to it, it's so fun to use. Beaming these guys right now. Okay, I'm gonna wrap back around. Ooh. Ooh, needle storm. We're good, we're good, good. See, like, obviously, headshots are what you want with this gun. They make it way better. But I mean, you can kind of get away with body shots. I mean, it really just depends. Yeah, but at the end of that game, I ended up finishing 3.6 combat efficiency, which proves to you guys how much I like this gun and how much I trust in it to tell you guys that you guys need to get this gun as soon as possible. Like, as soon as you see this video, go to Tower, go to Banshee, grab this gun. It is so worth it. Well, yeah, guys, that's the end of my video. If you enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you go get your fire fray at the Tower before it's gone. I swear to you, it is 100% worth it. Make sure to let your friends know, too. Until next time, peace.